Hello everyone, uh, this video will be about the first step in the default processing stream of Homer 2. Uh, I'm starting here on the Homer website. Uh, here you'll find the forum, uh, frequently asked questions, and documentation, how to download it, all that. Uh, to start, I have my Homer up and ready. Uh, if you start Homer without a uh, customized processing stream, uh, it will automatically load the default. Uh, the default here, I'll show you if you press the options button here, is right here. Uh, you'll see the first step here is going to be your intensity to OD, which we'll talk about in this video. Next is the PCA filter, motion artifacts, etc. Uh, you'll see the name of the function here, the name of the variables here, and where to put the uh, variables right here. Uh, go ahead and close that. If you do ever wish to develop your own, which more than likely you will, uh, you'll go to Tools and Processing Stream GUI. This will pop up all the different functions you have to choose from in your processing stream. On the left uh, here, you'll see the output. Uh, the middle, you'll see the function name. The right, you'll actually see the input. Here are all the arrows. If, if I decide I want to add the PCA filter, I click Add, it will add it over here. I can modify them up or down in my list here. I'll cover that in a little bit later video, but if you go down to the bottom here, you'll actually see a bit more in-depth uh, description of what these guys are. So here we're, we're using the uh, HMR or Homer intensity to optical density. You'll see the output is the DOD. That stands for delta opt optical density, which is just the change in optical density. And D here is going to be your uh, input. So the input will actually just be a matrix, which is the D matrix. It's going to be the rows will be a number of time points and the uh, channels will be your columns. So initially you're going to have this as raw data. It's going to be just voltage coming off of whatever machine you happen to be using. Uh, in our lab we use uh, uh, Nyrex uh, machine, but I think there's plenty of others out there. Um, the output then will be, as opposed to voltage, it will be optical density. In order to do that, if you actually go to your MATLAB code, I have mine up right here. Uh, you'll find the um, function list of functions here in the uh, Homer 2 folder. So when you go to download it, uh, it'll be in with the, the user interface and all that. But it's right here, uh, Homer intensity to optical density, or OD. This is all the code is. Uh, basically what you're doing is you're taking, in the first line, you're taking a mean of all the columns. Uh, the next line you'll be uh, creating an array or getting the size of your uh, number of uh, rows, I believe, which is the number of time points, or NTPTS. And then you're creating a DOD variable, which again will be your output. This uh, function here, is basically your absorbance function, and it's a relative absorbance. Uh, to give you an idea, you're, you're doing a negative log of this value here. Just for simplicity reasons, I kind of created it over here. Um, I made a matrix or, or an array called, called it x, and it's just 1 through 5. I then found the, the mean, which is this dm function, but I called it m over here, and I created a uh, same size array but just with each value being the mean. From there, I performed this action, which is just basically doing negative log. In this case, instead of doing the absolute value of D, I'm actually going to use uh, my X here. And then I'm going to be dividing by my M. And what that will give us are these five values here. So if you see the middle value is actually the mean. Uh, so it deviates from the mean. It, it is the mean, so it doesn't deviate from the mean. The left side will be positive values, and the right side will be the ne negative values. This gives you just more or less an app, uh, a, a relative uh, change, a relative difference in absorbance. Um, that is how FNIR works. So you, instead of doing absolute values, you're doing uh, a, a relative change. Uh, in order, if you did want to do the absolute values, you would need to calculate a partial path length factor. Uh, which gets pretty intense as far as the math. But the values that you're able to spit out using this function give to for absorbance is then going to be used for uh, inputting into uh, the Beer-Lambert law, which will convert to uh, concentration, and you'll get all, all the values you need in order to work with them. 
So I hope this was helpful. Um, I uh, had a little input from Boaz's lab. It's through a little error on the last one. So I hope, uh, hope I was able to correct that. If you do have any questions, uh, you are welcome to email me, but uh, the forum on the, the Homer 2 website may be of more use. But if you do email me, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and I will have more videos in the future. Thank you.